Hey guys, Tyra up here, bringing you a 2v2 today. We are on Belgorod. Safe chase pointing on the right, we've got Cold S44 with US forces immediately going for heavy cavalry. Teaming up with him is Petty Officer Morishita. As US forces, who has got Urban Assault, Rifle Company, and Airborne. On the left, we've got Vitas Van Darkholm with Ossia, Spearhead. And finally, 80 Hertz with OKW Fortifications. This is a Patreon back submitted game. Random teams on both sides. Cold is 100. Marishita is 210. It is 280. And Vitas is 170. So a bit of a rankings edge here on the Allied side. Is going in here. There we go. My age of firepower there from both US players in the middle of the map. center not able to fire though looks like it's gonna spin around to fight against the rifleman he's right on max range though looks like as soon as he had one or two more of those models died wasn't even able to follow that up we need to push up a little bit more there maybe could have suppressed the other rifleman that was a little bit further back as well meanwhile Vitas down the bottom here, wiring off the tank traps. Got to be careful. He could maybe wire himself in here. Do this little gap. Now tank traps turned against the allies. I can do almost no damage on approach. Ends up being a really bad engagement for them. So usually the rifleman will do a little bit more than that, but not too much more. Seems like Cold is big time tank trap enjoyer. Likes playing down big rows of tank traps. Getting some big cover positions going. Maybe could have exited there if he uh, tried to run out of cover between bursts. Got a bit of distance. Probably would have got some piece right on the edge, but could have been crawled out to safety, I think. I'll try exit heavy cover between bursts if possible. The enemy is taking our Tusks territory. down the bottom here, getting overwhelmed. Another two on one rotation should allow more space for Ed in the north. Ed repairing up the Kubel. Of the three folk screen ears, and now his tech truck. I think he's going to put it up in base, though. In those uh, 2v2 tournament games we have seen recently, quite a lot of, you know, forward battle groups out in this kind of area. Couple with field presence like spots around here. Maybe back here. Oh, that's a bad angle for the machine gun. A little bit slow on the rotation here for Vitas. Yeah, very slow on the rotation. <laughs> that's not a little bit slow. Luckily, able to retreat at least, dodge that grenade. So it does also mean early grenade tick from Morishita. Lieutenant charging in here. Double lieutenant as well, by the way, from the double US team. That's an extremely rare sight for team modes. Lieutenants. Usually always somebody going for the captain. No pathfinders either. Also a little bit rare, but not, not as rare as double lieutenant, I would say. 
Enemy wants truck. now for Morishita. Already got one for Cold. So he's going to park that one up in base. It'll be interesting to see if either of the US players tries to go for some uh, forward ambulance action. Which is in the building here. It's maybe going to try crawling for the incendiary. Toss it, then retreats though. Uh, I don't think I would have bothered. There's no follow up. You know, you can just jump out and heal this. You're not going to follow up with pressure. I think there's a little bit of waste of munitions. Too much. Okay, Panzer Grenadier next for Vitas. Yeah, Greenwell's got some pretty good territory control up in the north. Looks like both US players are. Uh, just using the ambos in their base could even be like a healing split situation here. These bases are pretty close. Maybe put an ambo here and some micro troops in there to heal. But this is random team action. It does add to the micro burden as well. But you know, if you're trying to like rush out some light vehicles or hit some specific timing, showing healing like that for. A period can be pretty handy, worth considering doing on uh, certain maps. That's a good grenade. And uh, it's a little bit late on the retreat. The tenant's going in. And it's going to be alright. I think there was potential for a squad wipe there though with uh, some good RNG. Good range here for the rifleman. Be really careful standing back like this with your rear echelon. That's a juicy rifle made area. Clumped up on light cover. It wouldn't take much of a move for that to work. Tries to volley fire here. As it means a little bit late switching their focus fire over to the rear echelon. Just got out of harm's way. Nearly entirely got wiped by that bundle grenade. Here comes the Stuart now for cold. Oh wow, it's a double officer go for Morishita. And hits a mine, Lieutenant ends up going down because of it. Nice mine from Ed. It's already putting up a Shreer by the way. And covering this cutoff area. There's a one with the stern bios. Shoot, still shooting at the Kubel, so it's a clean approach, but he took any damage. WPM smoke strike can be delivered to doing cover very our well with the Stuart. Bunch of bars coming through. Looks like just single equipping everything at this stage, though. Just spread them around. Generally, I'm more of a fan of going for early double equips on some and none on others. Concentrate that firepower so you can find opportunities to uh, be more effective with it. Clear off this site blocker here. Open up the map a bit more. Don't know if that's to the advantage of cold, if I'm honest. Usually against a VMI player with machine guns and LMGs, they are better in, you know, longer range blind. Blind uh, engagements are bad most of the time, so I'm a little bit surprised by that. Itas has not put down tier 2, by the way. He's trying to go for like a fast tech strategy. Also put down a muni cache, which is a strange option if you're trying to go for a fast tech. You probably should be going for a fuel cache if you're trying to get a medium out as fast as possible. It does mean that there's nothing to stop the Stuart right now. Only Faust doesn't even have Shreks on the p -wins. So this is tough. Oh, there's a Telemine down here though. This could be big. Looks like Vitas trying to bait the Stuart in. You see a move like this. You gotta have... This has gotta be making your spidey senses tingle a wee while. 
don't think the re echelon have the sweep upgraded though. So. This could have uh, worked. Now getting pushed right the way off the field. There's just nothing to stop this Stuart. That's a big problem. Getting the tech up now. A little late even getting the tech up. Maybe. Uh... Alright. The grandies go down. Anyway. A lot of bars there. My rifle made launcher from Morishita. Painful for Ed, who's trying to sit behind cover. It's going to rotate now, bring his Kugel down to assist a bit. He's got a Rakesson coming out now as well on this side of the map. Stuart did take a Faust, so it's out of action for a wee while. He'd actually got a trench down here. You don't see that too often for fortifications. That was a big mine as well. Completely shuts down this attack. Interesting to see Morishita go for an early anti-tank grenade as well. I mean, anti-tank gun. Even though there's only a Kubel for it to shoot at. Looks like it's going to go into an infantry support gun next. Able to just run up here and get the grenade off. Maybe the 50 cal was having trouble firing because it was being suppressed. Easy dodge. Oh, I, I thought that was going to happen. It retreats over his own teller. Sad. Okay, we've got some rangers out for Colt. Oh, hit with the Kubel. Gets out of there. Retreats all around. Rashita did manage to, you know, break into this northern area a bit. Maybe could even harass its fuel here. Does have some nice sandbag positions, but you know, the grenade launcher doing all right as well. Pushing in now. You have the flak base there, but I think you could stand on the edge of the circle at least over here. Get the cap off. Oh boy! P4 hits the field and the Stuart goes down. Looks like Cole tried to launch some smoke out to cover the uh, exit. Didn't work. And now Cole has no anti tank himself. <laughs> Pretty fast timing on this medium, you know, 13 and a half minutes. It's a fast one. Might not be expecting this as the US player. You know, about a minute and a half earlier than usual. Caught him off guard. Maybe, you know, the fact that you're not up against a 222 or a pack. It's by the Stuart, like driving on top of your enemy for about five minutes. Could give that away, but I could forgive him for not making that read. You may be called. Could have considered me you know, putting, yeah, okay, here we go, some bazookas on the ranger. We got two at the moment, though. No munis, haven't distributed so many bars. Fighting position for Morishita on the cutoff, but not able to get the pin off to prevent the cap. Here come the rangers now, close range with these bazookas. Two good hits, but before. Popping off shots in return. You have those elite bazookas. Extra P and extra damage on those rangers. And they do a pretty good job forcing back the P4. Buying some breathing room for the allies here in the south. Speaking of uh, things covering cutoffs, it's gone for a bunker himself now. This one's on the cutoff though, covering the VP a bit more. 
see those piece of wire got cleared off at some stage, so tank traps now a good cover position for the Axis as well. Always have to worry about that happening. Oh boy, an Ed's bunker. Doesn't look like it's going to last too long here. <laughs> as soon as he completes the machine gun upgrade, he's sieged by the AT gun. The artillery from the Major as well for good measure. Doesn't get value out of that at all. Good push from Morishita. Sherman from him next. Hands for in the build for Ed. So we are heavy cavalry and urban assault. What is a good mix, you know, a heavy tank and the Calliope. Help fill some of the gaps for US players in team games. Could even go for the dozer blade upgrade on the uh, Sherman as well. Extra bit of health and armor. Okay, those rangers, what are they doing? <laughs> Here we go, going after the medium. Double teaming the south though. Coming down, cold under some pressure here. Cold hasn't ticked the major yet. Still a long way off anything. Something quite a lot on bazooka squads, not quite enough. Generally, why players don't put bars on the rear echelon, but you know, rear echelon with volley fire and the bar does suppress quite quickly. So, a big munitions commitment, though. Oh, Ed loses his over here. That's not good. He's coming back trying to defend. Don't think he can stop this from getting stolen, though. He's going to have to get some really lucky shots here. And uh, it's not happening. Here comes the Sharon, it is. Upgrade with the Dozer Blade. Still on armor piercing as well, so he can fight against these Panzer Fours. He's backed up by an AT gun. The riflemen retreated, even though they're very high health still. So we've got no snaring units up here. Now, the double axis tanks out positioning the AT gun, and of course, cold. Doesn't have much anti tank, but here comes his bazookas now. And uh, they're doing alright. Hebrin's coming in. They actually take a big shot from the Sherman. Get quite weak. Is the Axis going to give up this push? In fact, the Pegreens go down to the Sherman. Even on armor piercing, it's getting some big hits going. Okay, so they, they managed to hold on there. It was a close call if that AT gun did decrude around here. Probably would have been destroyed. It works out alright in the end. This is a big old blob of bars. Tough to stop right now. Can feel a lot more confident trading uh, against Panzer Fours when you got those. The extra health and armor from that dozer blade upgrade. So here, yeah, yeah. 15 more armor. It's more than 15, right? And 160, I think, to 200. Bulldozer upgrade. Bulldozer is uh, mixed in there on that description. Oh no! Oh, that was a close call for cold. 
major artillery clearing out the trench. Looks like Ed's putting down a howitzer now, even though they're under quite a lot of pressure here. Cash up here from Vutasi really likes these munitions caches, doesn't he? He's still very low on army size, so it's a bit of a worry. I do not really recommend doing that. And maybe once you, you know, once you're around 80-ish population, you can consider it. But below that, unless you've got some kind of special build going, you need to bolster up your army so you can fight back and test the map more rather than having to worry about caches. Maybe 4v4s it's a little bit different but not in twos or ones, certainly. Well, that's a pretty easy grenade there. Didn't wipe anything at least though, the grenades do have their damage reduction buff now. I'll decrude up here. I'll get decrude again. The enemy is overrunning one of our capture oh. points. A quick look at the KD. We're both US players about 20 behind. Probably not quite that bad since they've had a lot of wire that's been destroyed as well. So that counts in your uh, deaths. Gone. Oh, Green is down, and they dropped their LMG. Oh, that's a big pickup. Two on the P4 now, 10 kills so far. Forward to the north. How's that how I do? Only one kill actually so far. Looked like I was doing all right, but we're really showing the best results. Dodge from Ed. Picked up a second Ober squad now. Still has this Kubel, by the way. Hasn't really set it up in detection mode. Hunt around here or something. Do some detecting. onto the cutoff but still got that fighting position there didn't quite get cleared off doesn't have the shrek here to kill it either shooting on high explosive they're getting a couple good shots and p4 from it making moves trying to catch him off guard but here comes the second sherman and there's an at gun down here as well he blitzing out to safety should be all right you can get an engine crit in here. Maybe if that AT gun wasn't here as well, he could have stuck around, gone for a couple cheeky extra shots, but this is the right call backing away here. Let's wait for something heavier. Could even go for a Yak Panzer in this situation for it. Would be alright against these dozer blades. Oh, he's gone for the base barrage. Actually catches the ambo here a bit. Pretty quick reactions from Morishita though. With his infantry, he's not moving the ambulance at all. Easily just drive it over to here. Asking for trouble. It's going to happen any moment now. Anyway, Tiger has hit the field for Vitas. So uh, we've got the Pershing on the other side. 
Don't see this match up too often. Yeah, there we go. Ambo does eventually fall. It's just... <laughs> It's like a car crash in slow motion. You see it was going to happen. He's got three bazookas on that squad now. He does. And he's activated combined arms. Didn't see that at all the, the other day, but finally uh, Cold's going to be the one using it here. He's buffing up his rate of fire. Allowing him to uh, trade pretty well against the Tiger here. Is required now on both sides. Vishon are vetted up and now have the sweeper as well. Just some the pies with the Rangers. Victory points. 100 point lead to the Axis at this stage. They're feeling pretty comfortable. Kind of interesting, considering Vitas is, you know, so keen on building uni caches, hasn't really saved up enough to use his commander abilities. Oh, is that a pack 43 from Ed? Okay, well that's another way to deal with the Shermans. Of course, Morishita does have a good counter available to that with the Calliope, and he's just about saved up enough resources for that as well. He's also got double AT gun, so if he decreases, this, he could push it quite easily. Hasn't upgraded these ranges with any weapons, by the way. Very strange. Oh, that they did, you know, did tweak their rifles towards the uh, very end stages of them. In vanilla form, but still don't think they're really worth using in that fashion. Okay, got them up to bit two so far. Doing all right, at least. Pushing's healthy again. Back in action. Ooh. Panzer Greens go down to the grenade in the south. Tiger's still getting repaired up, by the way. No vet. No sweeper upgrade. Why a lot slower getting repaired. So I'm having a good time for cold down the bottom. Smoke out here covering its tank place. He's kind of pushing it there, driving forwards. Luckily his armor bouncing everything. No P rounds or take aim popped. Does have, you know, 500 munitions-ish, so... Should probably be a little bit more liberal with his ability activations. He goes down, Panzer IV limping away, low at the moment. But neither of these rangers have the bazookas. It's going to be up to the Pershing to finish the job, but the Tiger's just about healthy again. It's coming down. He's just going to get stolen. It's coming down with his Panzer IV. Rear armor action. Pershing put to spin around, but the turret's facing the wrong direction here. Trying to get away, but he takes a main gun crit. There's a lot of mines down here, though. He's still chasing. It's one mine. Pershing's armor holding up. Tigers in hot pursuit as well. Doesn't pop the blitz, though. And the Pershing somehow survives. Or it's largely because of a couple lucky bounces and, of course, the mines. Yeah, a bit of a mistake there, not blitzing in, I think, with the Tiger. So, uh, you know, at least the main gun crit didn't cost him his tank. Speaking of mines, there goes another mine. Tiger's now wounded as well. All three Axis tanks with engine crits up here. Rashita making a rotation. Germans are out of commission right now. And the Howie actually decreases a T gun right out the back here. Is it? Yeah, there's the Howie. Just couldn't see the projectile from the last shell. Weird viewing angle, maybe. 
It's like a graphical glitch, perhaps. Can I put up another fighting position, Morishita? I'm very surprised. Oh, oh boy. Into backspace hit plus. <laughs> I'm very surprised. He hasn't gone for the Calliope though. Like you know, you're up against his pack, a couple of support weapons. Opportunity is down for Ed. Even on armor piercing, these Shermans have been getting some pretty good hits on the infantry. Hey, we on them isn't that bad. It's just why explosive is so good, you know. Okay. This is some clumsy driving, just massively overextending with that tiger. Pershing's are uh, not going in for any moose. Just content to pick away from long range. It's Panzerfort's healthy, gonna come in from the side here. Get on the rear armor. A couple times. Oh my god. The Pack 43 got him as he backed towards the north. He came into Pack 43 territory and it just slams on the kill shot. Ouch. What a move. Okay, but here we go. Morishita finds the pack, decrews it. The double Shermans are rolling in here. Maybe looking to polish off the decrewed gun. But they are not focusing the right targets at all with their main guns. It's an engine crit. Trying to get away. Ed cruises with over models. Oh, that's expensive. The Sherman tanks are coming back in here. Could be an okay-ish time for them to pop off their phosphor shell. That's, it. That's still a part of this, right? Yeah. Okay, it doesn't stop the pack from firing. The pack does fire through smoke, but getting it down to like zero health so you can decrew it is pretty handy. Getting decrewed up here now, Ed. A bit of a counter-attack. Rolling in here with the rifleman. Okay, the Major coming in, dropping some artillery down on this. Could cost him his life though. It's a situation where the Sherman could again Use a smoke to cover the retreat. Decrews the pack 43. Is it going to be enough to kill? It is. Does have the extra shells since the major is vetted up and that looks to have made the difference. Don't know if that's a guaranteed kill once the major is. Uh, I think it's vet 2 you get the extra shells, right? Don't know if it's a guaranteed kill. Either way, uh, yeah. It's gonna insta rebuild it though. <laughs> he's he's undeterred. Oh, that's it back. I'm getting aggressive with the Panzer IV in the meantime. Feels like the Howie hasn't been up to much for a while for it. Six kills. It's on cooldown. Re off cooldown rather. It's ready to go. the major artillery this time it's cold it persisting with the construction and he uh, weathers the storm opportunity is down as well and he, oh, he cancels it now I believe he only gets half resources back from that right well, depending on how much uh, damage it took it looked like it took about half push on to the amount of health it had left there go the pyres. Couple uh, avoidable losses starting to creep in on uh, both sides. That's 45 minute mark. Okay, uh, I thought it was going to be in the north as well, but no, it was in the center. So the lieutenant dodged it. I guess up to vet 2 by the way, Pershing. It's back on the field. Ooh. Let's go 
it's a bit that's a pretty big edge for the tiger in the head to head matchup already got that plus five percent range it's not not plus five range not plus five percent scattering accuracy bonuses trying the attack again the Indians go down for Vitas, not paying attention to the squads, just focusing on the tanks. Double shooting and rotating. Bit of Howie fire, knocks out the re echelon, trying to repair up the fighting position. Oh, that's a zeroing artillery actually from it. Didn't notice that on the ground, the edge of the circle. It's just as a FH. She is also firing. back as well. Tussle lost his Panzer IV over here by the way. So the double bulldozer Shermans or those blade upgraded Shermans are working very well. Definitely the extra durability on them very very handy. They're a bit slower. Pershing is going to trade with the P4. Get 5 on that from it. Is that good preservation? 45 kills. And for the Faust. Let's close that down. Targeting. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not even sure what that was going after. Strange whiff of brush. Oh, Calliope finally got one, but the Pack 43 is already dead. This machine gun's quite far back. It's not even covering the center of VP at the moment. Morishita is uh, kind of just leaving his tanks on armor piercing most of the time. So he doesn't have to worry about the constant rounds, which is. He hasn't gone for the uh, machine gun upgrade on them, by the way. He had like 500 munitions at one stage, didn't he? Where'd, all, where'd they all go? Oh, that's a good frag bomb, though. Range is down. Nearly got the Major as well. Did it kill Re Echelon too? I, I, thought, I thought I saw some, yeah. Okay. Oh no, they're up in the north. Yeah, it showed them. It's, it's weird, right? I think that's a wipe indicator. Uh, gets a bit weird sometimes with vehicle crews, I think, if you uh, crew vehicles. With the squad. So yeah, did get the re echelon as well. Big frag bombs. Eyes weren't deceiving me. Okay. Let's stop the decap here, the Axis. Still with over a hundred victory point lead, the Axis, they're doing all right. Oh, goes for the LEIG, gets the decor on that. It depends if force coming in from the side here. Some cheeky hits. Real monster, this Vet 5 Panzer IV. Really good scatter, you can see just every shot getting... Uh, Tasty amount of damage on these riflemen. Shot after shot, almost never misses. Such good scatter on that. I'm closing in here. Oh boy, it's a panther for it. So he does give up on uh, rebuilding the Pack 43. Switching something a bit more mobile and. Should do pretty well against those Sherman tanks. Maybe he doesn't want to take them straight to him. One Pyro's down. Is it 
to a clock here? It's got zero kills. Is that his... Oh, he's picked up a second worfer. Looks like there's a bit of a whiff though. Our opponents are seizing the one on Pershing now. Faust here. Oh, the Faust got slowed down a lot. Fausting model died. Bounced it as well. We are losing the sector. Okay, double Sherman against the Panzer IV. Coward. Coward. I would have taken that two on one there. Probably would have lost the Sherman, but you know. We killed the Panzer IV, which I think is maybe more of a threat at this stage. That was a low vet shooting as well. One of the two. But uh, Morishita doesn't have a lot of backup right now in terms of anti-tank. Just got some bazooka riflemen. So we could get overrun by air pretty easily. And, uh, forward retreat here. Kind of sideways retreat though. Maybe he's trying to stay out of howitzer range. Yes, mine's up from here in the middle. It's not a bad idea. And here comes Ed's Panther. Maybe tempted by the sector lockdown. Knew that the ammo was probably going to be there as well. Comes through, picks that off. Takes an engine crit, but there's really no follow up from Morishita. Needs both of his tanks at full strength if he wants to tackle that Panther, even in its weakened state. Teammates Tiger was coming up there anyway, and a Bloombear now for Vitas. Who's his machine gun down here, though? He's got a lot of anti infantry. I don't know if I would have been going for more. You know, two Werfers and the Tigers, quite a lot already. I thought making the uh, kill on the Pershing uh, high priority would have made more sense. Its tanks are healthy again and he's encroaching deep into allied territory now. He's gonna continue. Oh, okay, he's got the air burst going up in the north now. Doesn't look like it hit too much though. Yeah, some sloppy losses for Vitas. Really, uh, quite a lot of avoidable squad wipes we've just seen recently. American Panther comes in for a couple points. shots. Maybe he could coordinate this attack a little bit more smoothly. The very clean rocket strike enemy. there. Another one. A lot of scatter though, doesn't it? Anything. Wipe out the back here. He's trying to put up the mechanized repairs as well. Oh no, the Kubel! He had a good run. Almost made it to the 45th minute. Trying to make a go for the Northern VP. Comfortable victory point lead now for the Axis. But uh, Vitas is kind of falling apart down the bottom. So Tiger's repaired up now. It's just AFK. He's really fallen off in terms of micro. Vitas. I don't know what he's doing. Get away with it here because the Pershing doesn't switch targets. Oh my! Two rangers go down to the S mines! Oh wow, that's huge for it. That is crazy. Well, there you go, guys. S mines. Winning games. Targets going in. I think he hit smoke instead of. Blitz, dude. <laughs> I think he did. 
<laughs> oh, it's going to allow the Pershing to get away as well. <laughs> Not even on Pronto's vehicles, by the way. He's kind of right on maximum range there. He easily could have accidentally switched to shoot at infantry. And now he's taking an engine crit. And here come the double bulldozer Shermans. Those blade Shermans has got the Brumbeer coming in. What's that going to do? I'm not sure. Well, there's a mine here as well, but they get cold feet, the Sherman. All they would have to do is circle around to the rear armor and they could have got him here. Cowards. Rashida does seem to be very timid with his Sherman. I mean, it's keeping them alive. But it's also, uh, you know, he's missed a lot of opportunities for kills. And the rifle squad does go down there. Oh, the bazookas are coming in. Might be able to get him anyway. Rumbia coming in. Oh, not the best pathfinding. Some attack rounds from the uh, rangers not working too well, though. He's got one more volley here. Oh, and it's just enough. The last bazooka gets the job done. I think if he tried to hang around for one more shot, even, he would have died. So, uh, okay, worked out all right for the allies in the end. He comes through and snipes off another ambulance, though. Guys have been doing okay, you know, harassing the victory points at least. They haven't drained too many points last few minutes. And the, both the allies are actually in a good position to produce a couple more units. They managed to knock out that tiger, so uh, they're in an okay spot now. Vehicle crew dead to the Howie out the back here, oh no. To produce a re air shot. He's got plenty of manpower to do that though. So, okay, it's Howie. It's, it's getting something done all of a sudden. Had a big lull in action though. Got to a, didn't we get off like a strong start, like four kills early on, and now it's only at 12. 20 minutes later, 25 minutes later. After just getting a bunch of kills here. Listen up. He's got the rear echelon coming through for some repairs on that now. So he's going to be able to recruit a... Does mean he's lost all his veterancy on the Sherman, how, however. Like a Calliope coming in. Gets the Fox Reindeers. Major goes down. Brumbia. Popped uh, combined arms. Oh my! What a what a move! The M93 round. I was not expecting that at all. I think maybe it's like firing indicator gets hidden by the fact that the uh, combined arms was active. Pops it off, gets the kill. That must have been very close to max range there. How far that went! What a shot on the broom bear! Wow. Been a long time since I've seen a good E93 shot. Well done, Team Cold. So now uh, Vitas, he's got almost nothing really. He's got a lot of manpower. I think he's stalling for another Tiger. Still has a wee while on the cooldown yet, though. It's all up to Ed in the meantime. They do have quite a lot of victory points to play with, though. Keeps going for these really, really long-range Werfer barrages, and uh, these are not going too well. Only two kills on both Werfers so far. I can understand it maybe here, because he's got nothing to keep the Werfers safe and stop the Allied tanks from just charging in, but... They're not getting very good results. And here comes the Tiger. Really up against the Jackson now, though. So it's, it's tough in the Pershing's bit, too. This time that's got the dead advantage. He's hit to head. Let's make it some moves. He's got the air burst going. It's getting some wipes. Machine gun, rifleman, AT gun, decrewed. The Panther's there. Rashita getting overwhelmed. 
This doesn't really have enough to stop this. The, you know, that is pop cap limit. Morishita is in the mid 60s, I think. And he polishes off that team weapon. Meanwhile, though, his teammate is suffering quite badly on the other side. Really a tell of two halves of the map, but it looks like Ed's going to come down for a rotation. Coming to assist his team now that he's cleaned up the player on his side of the map. He could do some pretty good damage. Looks like he is uh, going to get some rear armor action on the Pershing. Pershing trying to get away here. And uh, unsuccessful. Good move here from Ed. Oh, the Jackson missed. Started driving right as uh, the shot went through. Had the moving accuracy penalty, so doesn't even kill the Panzer IV. And that rotation from Ed just completely polishes off cold. Annihilated anything he had left, and that's where the Allies are going to throw in the towel. So there were some questionable builds, a uh, few units here or there, but overall, X has come out on top. Really, like it was a strange fall off in the micro from Vitas after about the 35 minute mark, started losing a lot of squads for free. Micro really dropped down, but Ed able to carry his teammate nicely there. Do you think uh, Morishita maybe should have gone for the Kalaipi earlier? The timing where he went for the Kalaipi was kind of strange. There wasn't a lot for it to shoot at it. At that stage, the Pac-43 had already gone down. There weren't that many support weapons. Don't think he was trying to use them for, like, the point-blank shotgun blasts either. Hoping for squad wipes. Oh, yeah, I completely forgot about those S-mines in the middle. Two ranger wipes. Really took the wind out of Cold's sails with that. So, yeah, a big carry play here from Ed. And that, you know, that Pack 43, that first one, killing off the Pershing over here as well. That was big. So some big plays from Ed. Able to uh, get the dub here on Belgrade. Well, anyway, guys, wrap on that. If you like your game, be cast by me. Details are in the video description below. Otherwise, okay, sure for the next thrilling installment. Goodbye and good luck.